Here's Bob, and here's his story about his 1933 Chev five-window coupe. I'm going to let Bob tell you his story without interruption. Nine years it took to do it. We built a, a new frame for it. Uh, it was in a basket when I brought it home. And uh, we started with the frame and measured it up, put the body on the frame, and then I stripped uh, a celebrity car for the steering column and seats and wiring and all that stuff. And I started building. I got a V8 motor out of a, a, a blazer, put it in, had a friend of mine, Dick Nussie, build me a, a grill for it. Uh, the person I bought it from had uh, welded a big piece of steel in the roof. It was cloth and he welded it and it bent everything. So I had to cut the roof out. And that roof that's on that car is out of a, off a 66 Mustang. And it fit on there perfectly. I hardly, oh, like there were, just had to weld it. It was, it, all the curves and everything were perfect. So uh, anyway, uh, Took all the wood out of it, because they're all wood, put a whole new floor and I put a steel frame all inside with three quarter inch boxed uh, uh, tube and uh, built all that and uh, built doors. I had the outer door skins and built all new doors with power windows and power door openers and all that stuff. It's good. The doors all open automatically with just a push of a button. Under the hood is a 305, but it's been bored out 30 over and it has high compression pistons in it. Uh, it has been ported and polished, uh, made a little bit bigger. Uh, it's got just a mild cam in it so I can go to every other gas station instead of every gas station. Uh, it runs like a charm. It's just, it's been on the road now 10 years. It's got 25,000 miles on it and it hasn't skipped a beat. We haven't done one thing to it in 10 years. Not a thing. It just runs great. We can run down 401 with a car all day at 70 miles an hour, listen to the radio, and be as comfortable as could be. That's the story of Bob's 1933 Chevy. Thanks for sharing your story, Bob. And thank you for viewing. Have a safe winter, and we'll see you in the spring at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights. No, 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 you're fine. I got lots of pictures of the back of it. Whose car is it? It's Bob Clark's, right there. In the chair with a the hat. Oh, he's behind this car.